This is a rather pleasing gadget I've just bought from China. It's a DMX controlled fire machine and it's got a port on top and there's a brass nozzle there that sprays uh, liquefied gas out and uh, igniter electrodes here that a spark jumps between to light them, the gas and create fireballs and jets of flame. Now, it's got DMX in and out for simple DMX control, just one channel. Um, it's got the addresses for setting the DMX address, mains in, and then you can choose by, between either power, which means that the gas comes on straight away as soon as you apply power to the unit, off, or under DMX control. So I'm going to leave it in power mode because I'm going to be demonstrating this after I've shown you what's inside it. So there's a baggage catch, and when you open it, there is a canister, an aerosol canister of gas, which in this case I've used air freshener because it does just fine in my application and uh, I don't have any of the other gas available. It certainly didn't come with it when I ordered it. And this can of air freshener is held under spring pressure with a little um, a chutney dish, which I used to pack it up because it's a bit shorter than the official gas canister. Um, and it's held by this spring-loaded platform so that the nozzle on the top of the, the aerosol is pushed into a little rubber grommet in the end of this solenoid valve. Now, the fact it's pushed in means that it's uh, releasing the liquids, uh, the butane, the propellant, in here. And it would have been nice to use this little butane canister that's used for refilling cigarette lighters, but this doesn't have a dip tube, and that's quite important. In aerosol air fresheners, a little tube goes down inside this, so the pressurised gas actually blows a mixture of butane and the, the aroma out. And it's important in this unit that it, it gets the liquid out, as opposed to just the gas off the top, like would come out of this um, um, butane, standard butane lighter refill. And if I were to put this in the unit, it would work, but it would end up just maybe a one foot blue flame would come out of it. It really needs a liquid to actually blow out a good, decent flame. So, the aerosol canister is held in position against the little rubber grommet inside this end of a solenoid valve, a fairly standard solenoid valve, which is quite nice. And the other end of the solenoid valve is just what's called an orifice, which is an end stop with a tiny little hole in it, and that's where the gas blows out. The gas then blows past these two electrodes, which a spark is jumping across. And the reason for the spark is because down here, is a boiler ignition transformer. It's an electronic one in this case, and it's turned on at the same time as the solenoid valve. And in this unit, it's got a DMX facility, so the DMX controls a single relay, and when the relay comes on, it turns on the flame. Um, obvious, of course, I showed you the front that it's got the manual override, so that's what I've got it set to at the moment. So we've got the DMX, the boiler ignition transformer, the solenoid valve and the igniter electrodes. Very, very simple. Very pleasing, actually. I like this a lot. So let's uh, try it out, shall we? I'm going to shut this over and I'm going to take it out somewhere away from the windows of my workshop because I don't particularly wish people seeing huge fireballs um, exploding behind my windows for obvious reasons. I'm going to take it into a hallway. I do have uh, 11 foot high ceilings in my house, so it's quite good. It means I can actually do things like this indoors without worrying too much about setting the place in fire. So I'm going to plug it in and make sure it's set to manual mode. And then I'm going to run it. And it looks like this. It's awesome. Absolutely love this. It's a fantastic gadget, and I uh, strongly recommend buying one actually just for fun. So, um, yes, definitely a winner.